Unlocking the mystery of Moon-Faced in English. Hello, dear viewers. Welcome back to our channel where we make English language learning fun and easy. Today, we've got a fascinating phrase to explore, Moon-Faced. This is not just any ordinary phrase. It's a poetic and descriptive way to paint a picture with words. Stay tuned as we dive into the meaning behind this celestial expression and how you can use it to add flair to your English. The phrase, moon-faced, refers to a person's face that is round and full, much like the shape of a full moon. It's often used to describe someone in a way that's either endearing or to simply state a fact about their physical appearance without any intention of insult. It's important to note the context in which it is used, as it can be seen as flattering or, in some cases, as a gentle tease. While we may not pinpoint the exact origin, moon-faced has been used in literature and speech for centuries. It draws a comparison to the moon, which has been a symbol of beauty, mystery, and often, serenity in various cultures. By calling someone moon-faced, you're likening their visage to these universally admired qualities of the moon. Now, let's see how we can use moon-faced in everyday conversation or writing. Here are a few examples. The baby, with her moon-faced smile, lit up the room. He was a moon-faced man who always seemed to have a serene expression, just like the moon itself. Notice how in each case, the phrase adds a layer of description that goes beyond just the shape of the face. It implies a certain pleasantness or tranquility. It's crucial to talk about the cultural context when using phrases like, moon-faced. In some cultures, having a round face is considered very attractive, while in others, it may not be. Always use descriptive language with awareness of how it may be received by others. Our goal in communication should be to connect and not to offend. Thank you for joining us as we explored the phrase, moon-faced. We hope this video has not only taught you a new way to describe someone in English but also given you insight into the beauty of figurative language. Remember, language is an art, and words are our paintbrushes. So go ahead, paint vivid pictures with your new vocabulary. Catch you in the next video, and happy learning!